Ooh, I am so excited about today because I got a brand new camera and I haven't got a brand new camera in a long time but I saw this and I told myself I'm gonna buy this one because I don't have an APS-C camera and two it's because it's a great budget camera and I want to do more budget things on this channel you know some people don't want to go out and buy an ASO and S3 and a bunch of full frame expensive lenses so I went ahead and bought this ZV E10 Mark II, and we're gonna unbox it right here. And I gotta say, first before I unbox this, FedEx, I know I've given you a lot of hate in the past, but man, I love my new FedEx driver. You can come to my house and we can talk cameras anytime. Thanks for being a new subscriber, bud. But we got this, boom. And right here, in the box, in our seat. Ah. All right. Ooh, the Sony ZVE Mark II. The box is, you know, nothing too fancy. There's this kind of like the new way that they've been kind of doing these boxes, especially for this ZVE line. Just very basic, very clean. But nobody cares about the box, right? All right, manuals. Yeah, if you are new to Sony cameras, read them or just watch the channel. Okay, how many people actually use the strap? Let's be honest. This strap is going in the box and staying there forever, not even getting unwrapped. One, it's really thin. I never would suggest using these straps. Honestly, I'd much rather Sony do something else, give us something else than this dang strap which we'll get into because I know I've already kind of leaked and known. This little bag right here is the wind muff, I'm fairly certain. The cute little wind muff. Yep. Yeah. There we go. The cute little wind muff, it sits. <laughs> Would you like some great coupon? <laughs> Anyways, wind muff. And this is why everybody should upgrade to this, the ZV100. Oh, this battery is great. I've got a ton of them and it's probably dead, but that's okay because I've got the Peter Lindgren Tri-Charge here ready with three fully charged, decked out batteries. And more manual junk. The camera, it's really, oh, it's so light. Oh my gosh. And here it is, baby. The ZV E10. I mean, wow. Wow. This thing is light. I, 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 if, if you complain about going out and shooting with this thing, then the only thing lighter than this would be your cell phone or something. I mean, matter of fact, I want to say that this feels almost as light as my cell phone. I'm really curious about that one. Like, I, I think my cell phone weighs about as much, but it might be even lighter than the cell I, Anyways, that's a very good test. But man, this thing, it's, it, even though it is light and it, does feel kind of plasticky, of course. I mean, it's a ZV line, the plastic body instead of these magnesium bodies of the higher end cameras. But my initial thought is it feels good, it's very light, but it doesn't, even though it does feel plasticky, I wouldn't necessarily say cheap plasticky, but it, it kind of does. But listen, I want this to be this is like a portable camera for me. This is a, a new camera for a lot of people, and this is just perfect. Like, I'm already throwing it around, watch out. This flip out screen feels super solid. It, no tension there, feels great. The microphone on top, super cool. I love that, I, I can't wait to test that out. And you know I'm gonna be doing a bunch of microphone tests with this and other microphones, uh, so stay tuned. The zoom rocker, I, lo I love the idea of having a zoom rocker. I love the fact that it's got the bigger battery, bigger, I mean this feels great in the hand, like, I don't feel like I even need a cage or anything. Like on my ASO and C, I need a cage. But this, I feel like I don't. It's great. The one SD card slot on the side 
fantastic. The nice thing about this camera is you can do everything with a V60 SD card, and those things are mad cheap. I'll throw some down in the description below. I like the Sony Tough ones if you're going premium, but you can get pro grade ones and get a pack of two for so cheap. It doesn't even, I mean, you might as well get the 256 gigs and never ever run out of memory. Um, even 128 uh, with this camera would be probably perfectly fine. I'm using 128 ones, but I wouldn't mind having a 256 one, but I never, you know, nice doors, like the, the I love that Sony's kind of finally figuring out these doors situations. Uh, yep, USB-C, I'm gonna test streaming with this and HDMI and headphone port. A lot in this little butt guy. I mean, look at this, just super tiny. And I did get the kit lens because it was only a hundred dollars difference and this kit lens is like $300 lens. So if you don't have anything at all, absolutely get the kit lens. It's nothing to cry home about, but it's super small and compact and it'll be a great start until you can get something. I got the Sigma 18 to or 10 to 18 and wow this thing is super tiny and I love the fact that on APS-C wow all these lenses are small they're not super crazy expensive and man like just solid stuff I love this let's put, go ahead and put this lens on this, this video is gonna be longer than I wanted it to be but whatever so even this, this is a small little compact setup right here. And you know, this this cost me $1,700, but this lens was on sale when I bought it for $600. Now it's back up to 650. So this whole setup would cost you about 1750, but with this, you'd have a great vlogging setup. Is there, I wanna see, I've never even got to play with, let's see if the batteries, I don't think the battery comes charged. No, no, it's not. But the nice thing about having the Peter Lindgren tri-charge is I always got batteries ready to go. That's a great accessory if you are looking to have a battery charger because one of the things is this thing doesn't even come with a USB-C cable to charge the camera. I know everybody probably has a lot of them laying around, but you should include it with the camera if you're, you're, you know, especially for newbie people, because you need to have a cable that can charge it and to stream with it and it has to be the right, you know, just include a cable next time, Sony. But anyway, now that I got the camera, boom. Oh, there you go. Now, I haven't set this thing up yet, but I'm not gonna, I understand. I'm not gonna go through this whole thing and set this thing up right now, but it's, man, the, the buttons, I love that they have a menu button. I love that you got a function button. You got the, the wheel, this, the top, you got the product showcase mode. You can boom, go right into that. The record button, I'll customize it to something else because I always use the shutter button for my record button. And then you got this little switch here to go in s and video and photo mode. And you know I'm gonna be doing all of those things with this camera. And I've been testing out the creative styles of my A7C and I really like shooting with that. It kind of gives you that like, little, I don't know, Fuji type of dealio and you can customize those. And I want to really tweak some to have some more film-like simulations that you could set for yourself. But I haven't figured out exact settings quite yet. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, and then you got a zoom rocker, which goes clear image zoom when you're not using a zoom lens. And then when you have the kit lens that has the zoom, which, wow, this thing is really light, it'll zoom that on the zoom rocker. So that's, that's really neat. This camera is awesome, feels great in the hand. I cannot wait to start doing some accessories on it, start testing out the microphone. And you know I'm gonna be doing all these tests here on this channel. So if that's something you're into, hit that like button, subscribe for more videos, and you guys know that I will see you in the future. Whoa! You gotta put it in the right way, Paul. No, it makes sense. Jeez. Man, somebody is blowing my phone up like nobody's joke. Can't you see I'm doing a real YouTube video right now? Wow. Cute little guy.